Super Destronaut DX2 is basically Space Invaders cloned to the point where it almost borders being sued. <laughs> It's available on modern consoles as well as the previous gen. This is the PS4 version you're looking at, which is crossed by with PS5, and it's also crossed by Xbox One with Xbox Series S, X slash S, whichever one you're going for. <gasps> and breathe. <laughs> this beauty is nailing the 1980s arcade nostalgia feel for me. It's bright and bold and colourful, it's loud, it's in your face, it handles like a dream. And the one thing I will say, as did the original as well, Super Destronaut DX2 really gets what makes an arcade game tick and throws it at you. It's got new for this version, a few different modes for you to play in. So instead of just like having your normal mode where you're just battling against uh, enemies uh, through different levels, you've also got these five arcade modes. One lets you play against 90 seconds to see what your high score is. One has a constant countdown clock, which replenishes after each wave that you hit as well. Um, so that's kind of like a time attack mode, I guess. You've got the classic three lives mode, but then also like a hardcore one hit death mode where all of the enemies are bigger and chunkier and beefier and require more hits to be killed. And then a really cool one as well, where it gives you 100 bullets um, and every alien is a one hit kill so you need to make sure that every bullet counts and then occasionally you'll get a bullet drop to try and replenish your um, bullets. But obviously because the enemies come in from the screen and they come in from the top, from the side and from below underneath you as well, you need to make sure that you're still alive to make each shot count uh, as well. So yeah, really good little selection of modes. They all come with their own local leaderboard nothing online and I feel like that's a bit of a missed opportunity for this game because one of the kind of issues with being a Rata Like A Games game is that the Platinum has been set at such a low bar that when you start to really get into the rhythm of Super Destronaut DX2 uh, and the difficulty increases that's where the the game just kind of comes together and feels great because it's responsive, it's quick, it's fast, bright, colourful, loud, great soundtrack. Uh, and also, because your ship isn't tied to the bottom of the screen, you can kind of move it up and around to avoid whatever's coming at you. Things get chaotic and quick and very arcadey very quickly. Um, but it's after you get the platinum. <laughs> if that makes sense. So please do keep this game installed and keep playing beyond it if you're going to get it because that's where the juicy stuff for this game is. I do wish that there were a few more enemy types and enemy variations though. The one kind of thing with Super Destronaut DX2 for me is that there's no real step beyond what are the basic Space Invaders styled enemies that are here it doesn't do anything new or different and what this desperately needed was some like specific bosses or um, more variety in the loops and the patterns that they appear in because although it's always randomly generated every time you play there's a very finite limit to the amount of variation that you have and that does start to seep through and start to make the game less exciting as you play what I have done though or sorry what I will be doing with this in the future is using some of those particular modes for local multiplayer matches where we'll just pass the controller around and see who gets the highest leaderboard score because I actually think that the game handles really well and can work as a standalone arcade experience. If you've had enough of Space Invaders though and you're looking for something a little different or more interesting um, and unique there's a few other shoot 'em ups that I'd recommend for you if you enjoy this type of stuff. Anything from Llama Soft, I generally recommend. They recently done Tempest 4000, but I also really liked Moose Life that they did last year. Uh, and I'd also recommend a game called Horizon Shift 81. I've already got a review of it on this channel. It's one of the best like retro shoot 'em ups, but it's actually completely modern day. Uh, it's just designed to play and look like a retro shoot 'em up um, that is totally unique and fantastic. Written review for Super Destronaut DX2 will be over on highplanegames.com. Let us know down in the comments if you found this interesting and informative, and if you're going to go and get it. Take care all. Bye bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network. 
a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.